Danza Stark and Drivjet to complete the field. Sansa Stark moves in. Drivjet steps forward. 1600 meters to race. And away they go. From the 1600 meter mark, Mela Strength and Grippen were both one length slow into stride. Bryden Bay jumped out well as one of the first runners to show some good early toe. Sansa Stark from that wide draw is also right up there in a handy spot, racing with Mo Ye. And we have a situation. This is Mad Scramble out in front to contest for that early lead. Drew Jet settles on the heels of the early front runners, racing three lengths off the gallop. On his inside is Mellow Strength, followed by Road Mail. Breakaway of two lengths and running to Drippen, who's racing alongside Apache Chief. And last of all is Greenland, with a nice strong gallop set out in front. About a dozen lengths cover the field. As out in front, Mo Ye is now the sole leader sets the gallop by half a length. On his outside, racing in second, Sansa Stark, followed by Bryden Bay in third. We have a situation, races in that one, I'll place in fourth, followed by Mela Strength. Groove Jet settles midfield, racing five lengths off the gallop. Then comes Drippen, who's got the rails run, racing on the inside of Road Mail, followed by Greenland, who's won from last, and Apache Chief is last of all. They've got 700 metres left to go, and Mo Ye still in front, shows the way by half a length. Sansa Stark at his outside in second, followed by Bryden Bay in third. We have a situation one out racing in fourth followed by Melo Strength Groove Jet gets hooked out towards the outside of runners down the centre of the track being followed by Apache Chief as the homeward bound 400 metres left to go they spread across the track and up deep routes on the track we've got Groove Jet who's picked up the running from we have a situation deep route Apache Chief is also starting to work his way into the race down towards the inside we've got Sansa Stark with Melo Strength and Greenland as they're into the final 200 metres deeper start we've got Groove Jet Greenland down towards the inside is running on strongly and Greenland has now picked it up from Groove Jets, who's deeper out on the track, and today's the day Greenland's going to come home to win, and Richard Ferry 350 for the season. Groove Jet into second, then came Sansa Stark in third. We have a situation was in fourth, Mela Strength, a bit unlucky, followed by Apache Chief. The winner, Greenland, right down the inside rail, the sheepskin noseband. Racing in the sorts of the Thomas Lyons, Mr. Riley, and the Green Acres Trust nominee, Mr. Marsh Shirtliff. You can see they spread right across the track. A bit of a argy bargy with Melo's strength and Sansa start, but Greenland did have first running, and he quickens up best of all in the closing stages, beating the stable companion, Groove Jet, who's two from the left hand side. Number six, Greenland will come in to win it. Wins well, and it's 350 for Richard Furry. All right, welcome back to the winner's enclosure, and that's 350 for Richard Faree. Well done to Justin Snaith, well done to Mrs. Thomas Lyons, of course to Brian Riley and the Greenacres Trust, to Marsh Shirtliff. Congratulations. Well done, Richie Rich. 350, I know Justin gave you 335, and he's given you good old Greenland for 350. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. And obviously to the team and to the owners, but uh, yeah, interesting also, riding ones. I thought he wanted a bit further, but I uh, noticed the blinkers and the speed, I think, was the, the winning factor. Um, I came into straight and, uh, you know, they were edging out and I edged in. I thought it was going to be beautiful. And I went through with the hands and he, he just turned on me. He, he wanted to go right and I had to grab and try and control what's going on. And um, you know, he's just a green horse. He just has a pony to get to the store because he sticks up. So he's obviously got some mental issues. <laughs> But uh, you know, I think when he when he starts concentrating a little bit later on, uh, when he's a bit older, I think uh, he'll definitely pick up another one or two. Well, Richard, it's been remarkable today. It's obviously an absolute honour to be watch, doing what you do best, riding winners. Your fans, the punters out there, they absolutely love screaming you home. I know your agent, yeah, Ken, he's uh, been fortunate enough to come and join us today as well. So to you two, well done. Yeah, thank you, and special thanks to everybody that's helped. And uh, it's been a great journey. And uh, you know, once we hit the marker. I said to Ken, you know, we can chill down a little bit and, you know, take four or five rides a meeting and I keep coming to the races and the book is full and I was like, okay, well, it doesn't seem like uh, we're slowing down. So, well, and to Ken, uh, he's a fantastic man. Um, yeah, but uh, a lot of support from all over the, uh, the country. It's been, it's been greatly appreciated. Thank you. Well done, Richie. Thank you very much. And to my sponsors at Winning Form for their ongoing support. Long may it continue. Good man, Richard Furry. Excellent ride again on Greenland. I'm going to get you back to the front of the grandstand. It's another one for Justin Snaith. Well done to you, sir. Groove Jet, JP Road. Looked like you need a, a pair of blinkers. Yeah, I mean, like the, the quality is there, but I'm just not getting him to give it to me. Um, 
I thought we went to touch and I made my move a bit early. I thought he was the best horse in the race and I wanted him to, to come and catch me. But um, as soon as I hit up front, he just breaks his ears and he's he's still immature and big baby still though. But um, I do agree with you. I do think a set of scoops will help him out. JP, thanks for that. One for the black book, that's for sure. Groove Jet. We're going to go to Vicky. Thank you very much, MJ. I'm with John Snaith once again. Winner was number six, Greenland. John, the consistency finally rewarded. Yeah, it's a good, good ride from uh, Richard as well. I think he's a horse that does have scope, though. And um, he's got a low rating base. I think he, he raced off a 73 today. And um, I must say, well done to Marsh Shirtliff, Brian Riley, and Thomas Lyons, who have been very patient with this horse. And to the punters out there, I'm sure they're... Hopefully they got rewarded, but um, I think he's also scope. I don't think he's going to stop here, and um, he's got to find his feet, which uh, he has today, and hopefully he'll go in from here and win us a race or two. John, well done. Thank you so much. Well done to Snaith Racing. Good result for them with uh, Greenland and Groovejet, but winner was number six, and uh, also well done to Wilco Bostrift and Ruth for breeding the sun and giving the green lights.